Thanks for logging on to MyFoxHurricane.com. I'm Jim Weber with your tropical update. We're watching a couple of areas, and this one, first up, is Tropical Storm Hannah. Uh, winds right now at 45 miles an hour, so it's gaining a little bit more strength. Uh, currently sitting across the Gulf of Mexico. You look at the satellite loop on this, and kind of an asymmetrical looking system. It's not that classic looking system at this point, but we have been seeing more of that deep convection near the center of this storm. So it does continue to get more organization and we continue to see a little bit more strength with this. Now, officially calling for just moderate strengthening here over the next 24 hours, but if it can consolidate an eye wall, we may see it strengthening a little bit faster. Currently it's moving to the west northwest at nine miles an hour, but it does look like it'll move a bit more towards a westerly direction, making landfall across the southeastern coast of Texas. Now, biggest threat with this, it's not gonna be the wind. Sure, we're gonna see these winds 60, 70 miles an hour, but the rainfall, four to eight inches of rain could cause some flash flooding along the coastline. Remember, this part of the coast across Texas can be pretty susceptible so some very heavy rain, they can get that flash flooding very quickly. So that will tend to be the biggest threat with this as Hannah makes landfall. Now we're also watching Tropical Storm Gonzalo. Now remember a couple of days ago, we were looking at this and it, it was really uh, kind of defying the computer models. It was uh, intensifying. It was really starting to look impressive. At one point, it looked like this might become a hurricane well, that's all changed because now that dry air that we've been watching with this, it's starting to have an effect on this system. Winds have decreased to 50 miles an hour. It does look like as it works its way into the Caribbean, that dry air will just continue to be an issue for this. So uh, moving west to the uh, west at 18 miles an hour, it looks like it'll move over the Windward Islands with winds 60, 70 miles an hour as we go through Saturday. And then notice you're at 70 miles an hour as it gets into the Caribbean. And then the end of that, it's at 35 miles an hour. So it is weakening very rapidly with that dry air uh, basically just dissipating this storm as it moves through the central Atlantic over the weekend and into next week. Now, looking way out into the Atlantic off the coast of Africa, uh, you see that zero to 30% chance of a wave just moving off the coastline. Gonna watch this fairly closely over the next several days, next week or so, because computer models already picking up on this wave and showing it basically working its way all the way across the Atlantic into the Caribbean. Now we're gonna, I'm showing you this, this is, remember this is long range. We're talking 10 days at this point, moving across the Caribbean up towards the Yucatan channel. Uh, this is still a long ways off, a lot can change. Uh, so just kind of take this with a grain of salt at this point, but it's one of those things we will continue to watch and we'll keep you updated on the progress of that as we, as we go through the next week or so right here on myfoxhurricane.com.